guys, Jamie from tryhardest.com today. I am sitting at my kitchen table because I just got back from Spokes Etc, which is my local bike shop and the sponsor of our cycling team here. Um, and I got my team order in, so I figured I'd share the things that I have purchased. This is mostly for the cross season and for the winter riding season. I didn't get a ton of stuff, but um, I did get these specialized mountain bike shoes in Rocket Red. Um, they're a little bit pinker than I thought they would be, but I guess, I mean, they're still red enough that they'll probably go with the jersey colors. Uh, the mountain bike shoes that I have right now, I've had since, I think, 2008. Um, and the, the finish is wearing off of them, and the cleats are rusted to the bottom, so... It, it was time for a new pair, and I wanted to get a specialized as one of the team sponsors. So I wanted to get specialized shoes. I wanted something with a boa closure, which this has, um, and something in kind of a flashy color. So I got the rocket red dipped ones. Uh, I also got a new helmet. So I have two helmets right now. I have a black Giro Attack Arrow helmet, and I have the bell helmet that I've been using for the past few years, um, which the retention straps are actually broken, and you're supposed to replace them every few years anyway. Uh, but the team, the team rules are to have a white helmet, and I've been getting a hard time for not having a white helmet, so now I have a white helmet. Um, this is the Specialized Echelon. It's, it's not one of their particularly high-end offerings, but it'll keep my noggin safe, so... It feels a lot better than the one I have now, and the foam padding isn't coming off at the front, so it would be nice to wear that. And I won't get made fun of for having the wrong color helmet. Um, I just got these today. These are the Body Fit, fit footbeds, so they're like inserts for the shoes. The, um, the shoes come standard with footbeds that are, don't have quite as much arch support. And in general, I'm not like a huge fan of using arch supports in shoes, but these make my feet and my knees feel better. Um, I've used them before. I got a pair of Continental Grand Prix Four Season tires. I've been using the, um, what are they called? The ones everybody uses, the Grand Prix 4000 S. 4002s. I don't remember what they're called, but I've been using them. I really like them. These are more of a year-round all-weather tire, so I'm going to put these on over the winter. I got a couple of those for my road bike. Um, I got a bag of Scratch Labs Lemon Lime. I don't use a ton of this stuff because I prefer noon and food for training rides, but for racing, you know, if you're going hard for 45 minutes, it's long enough that I do better with a little bit of sugar. Uh, but I don't have, you, you can't always get to a gel, but you can't always get to a bottle. So I keep a little bit of this around just for racing. A new pair of SPD cleats for my new shoes. And a couple of Garmin mounts so I can take the GoPro with me on all of my bikes. So this is a new one um, for the road bike. And I got this K-Edge mount. This just goes underneath the Garmin mount that I have now. So I can hook the um, GoPro up to my um, my other bike more easily. So then you, we don't get the skewed footage of having the helmet mounted on my head and it tips over this way because it's so heavy. Uh, so that's all of my team order for this year. Uh, I need to get a few extra things. I'm off. I'm running through my bib shorts. I have like three pairs that still work, and the rest are either full holes or stretched out, or the pad isn't really good in them anymore. So I need to get another pair of bib shorts or two, and probably another jersey or two for training rides this winter and into next spring. Uh, but many thanks to Spokes, etc., for sponsoring us, and we'll see you guys in the next video.